Right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I really hope the mic is working. I haven't really checked. But we'll find out. And... <coughs> right, so... Where am I? Um, I got 27% in the gas tank. Which isn't great. Especially with this gas tank. So that's not as much as it could be. Once I upgrade it. So I'm going to have to sort of cruise, or whatever it's called, my way to... Or oh, coast. Is it coast? My way to... Uh, Oh, there you go. I wasn't so far. And time lapse. Oh, that didn't bode well. Shotgun or whatever, rifle. Uh, if you hear much in the way of background noise, I have got my window open, but I'll probably shut that for the next episode. Oh, what am I doing? I'm find the angels. Statue. Right. Yeah, because, you know, how hard would it be to find an angel statue in a cemetery? Weeping angel. This has got to be it. Um, and you not very hard, Leon? it would seem. Uh, maybe in one of these. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, how did I miss every bloody bullet? Well, I hit him. A chopper? What are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Okay, I don't think they can find the phone. Oh fuck. I'm gonna chase him down and I'm uh, uh I'm gonna see what the hell I'm doing. Oh, oh come on. Yep. Yeah. Survival. It's survival, alright. Like two hits and you're down. Boozer! Who's man, are you listening? Uh you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. Chopper? Wait, what are you talking about? A near chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time in a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. <laughs> yeah, like him. Yeah. Chase a helicopter. Filled with government types with assault rifles. Ah, uh, get away. Get out of it. Where did all these fuckers come from? This place was empty when I came through here. brochure for a cemetery. Really? Mm. How morbid. Uh, put this on the back? What are you? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm doing. Crate though, because I can't seem to find anywhere to put it. Ah. 
Oof. Yeah, I remember that in the first one. When I first played through this, I didn't do that. And it was like halfway through the game before I realised that was a mission. So I had to drive all the way back here to do it. Chasing Leon. Alright, let me grab this again. Figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, there you go. I didn't see that prompt. Now I begin the long drive back. No wait, I might investigate the helicopter. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I hope so, because as we've established, I don't have much in the way of petrol. Actually, I forgot. Right, Hang on. Quiet. Uh, that's better. I forgot to feed the audio through the headset, so it's coming through the TV. Yeah, this is better. Jesus. So when 
tear my body apart like it was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. And, okay, so they're all hibernating underground. Well, a lot of them are hibernating underground. Time to ski daddle. Fifteen rounds. Not that that makes a difference. I can't shoot these guys because those hazmat suits are bulletproof or something. Some, you know, like power armor from Warhammer 40k or whatever. I heard something. Freedom. And done. I'm a badass. Sergeant First Class Badass. They didn't even say goodbye. Okay, so that's also a feature in the game, which uh, probably be the easier part of this survival mode, I would have thought. Because it's kind of a forced stealth part. Uh, what's this? Residue bolt. I don't really... never really sort of... Uh, used the crossbow after I got an AK. Just kept refilling up the AK. But sure, that's cool. Oh, that didn't sound good. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. The Nero guy, the soldier who the hell he was. Who took Sarah. What what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. Oh, wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, loser. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know. Ooh. No, I know that, but I heard. I went into their LZ. And they. Wait, wait, you. Went into the RLC? What the? Just listen. I heard more of the radio. Talking about a man named O'Brien. Pink? Dull? Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just. Hey, uh. Get some sleep. Deacon out. Oh no! Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks. Hello. <coughs> Damn it. Alright, time to go searching for fuel. Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deke. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, Men brother. Come. Uh, uh, where do you come from? <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, what's the chances I'd break down right next to a camp? Um, eh, screw it, I'll take down the camp if I'm nearby my respawn. No, I'm not. Cool. Wait, oh, um, you there? 
Boozman, come back. Oh, fuck. You a soldier. Took Sarah. What do you He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. He's alive, loser. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ. And they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their... Their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Dick, don't. Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. Yep, I, I, I know. Walk in the back, yep. Yeah. yeah, look at that. I broke down right next to the camp. Again. Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deke. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. She'd do the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. <gasps> the truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days for the rose came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So he No was... cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> yeah, so he's a psycho basically. Paranoid psycho. <gasps> Um, right. So no petrol there. No people either. I thought there would be. You know, a place like that. you think someone would have stayed there. But nope. Whatever. Ooh, was that? That's also been red. Was that? No, it's a body. Never mind. Uh, no petrol. Yeah, I might best stay close to my bike. I don't want to lose that bloody thing. Where is my bike? Oh, hello. this bike somewhere. There's a few cars down there so there might be petrol there. Possibly. No guarantee though. <coughs> Shit, someone needs help. God help me! I'm coming. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. What? What? Camp? This camp? Where? There's... Where? 
Show me. Freak in nearby. I'll go. Uh, okay, hurry up. <laughs> Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was I was a goner, you know? Whew. Thank you so much, man. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. No, I hear the freaker. Can't see one though. So God knows. St. John, this is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. Always needs screen. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him. Can't seem to reach him. Well, you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. I would much appreciate it. Copeland out. <laughs> Oh, come on. How many bullets must I put into this thing? Okay, jump back on the bike and walk. Carry on walking. Most of this video is just going to be me walking the bike back. I fear. Oh god. Oh for god's sakes, yeah, the I don't like the third person camera in this. Troll, maybe? No. Can use this. Ammo, well, I say that. Ammo was pretty useful. There the we go. 18. Uh, uh. This is Radio Free Organ. Oh, right. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. Proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them, caving under their own stupidity. But no, like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men, they'll shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's all. Jesus. Oh, Cope, they're there. not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. Okay on ammo, which is nice. Makes a change. Oh, please tell me I didn't attract the horde. I attracted the horde, didn't I? Oh, fuck. Ah, 
I am in no position to fight these things. No, what are you doing? No, climb the fucking thing. Climb it, climb it, climb it. Ooh, yes. Stupid idiot. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was ridiculously close. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Damn, man. No, I don't want to put down the bloody thing. I need a lockdown without blowing myself up, preferably. Oh, okay. Oh, they're walking away. Cool. If I can just... <laughs> and they still just run back to me. Okay. I was kind of hoping that fire would do more damage than it did. Alright, I'll just stay here until they walk away. And then try and look for petrol again. Um, if I, yeah, if I can recall, moments like this only really happen at the start of the game, towards the first like third of the game, where you really have to sort of scavenge. Um, I recall when you like. Upgrade the bike, it gets a lot easier. Don't know if that is the same for this mode. I would have thought they'd uh, decrease the popularity, like how many cans of gasoline is uh, around the map. Oh shit. Alright, so the horde's fucked off, but I know there's one more around somewhere. I'll try and take care of her quietly. Oh yeah, there you go. Have some of this, and this, and a bit more of this. How blunt is this knife? I mean, really, how blunt could it be? Stab someone like 15 times before they go down. Even a freaker goes down in like 3 or 4 bullets. Uh, is there some kind of building over here? Let's check that. No, Matt. How long you been up here, huh? Setting up ambushes, hit supply runs. Uh, that's kind of hopeful. Well, they've got petrol. Though it kind of sounds like they're gonna get, they've already been massacred by freakers. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build... 
rebuild those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. No, for fuck's sakes. Off. Seriously, I'm just looking for petrol. I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. Uh, I've come across everything. I've come across wolves, uh, hordes, uh, ambush camp, random freakers. Oh, for oh, I am dead. Uh. God damn, I didn't think it would be this hard to find petrol. Um mm. Not even sure if there is petrol on the in that place. God knows there's no petrol here, I thought there'd be petrol in an ambush camp. Maybe useful. Alright, let's go back and try again. Avoid that freaker, and for some reason, I think it's explained later on, but yeah, Deacon can't swim, or he has a fear of water for some reason. So, he can't go near that. That's kind of like, you know, weird, in that they got a big open world game, but the main protagonist can't swim. It's very, uh, like, uh, GTA 3 era, you know. Like a grown man falls into the ocean and just drowns, it's like, okay. That makes sense. Mass grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but a mass grave can mean good news, because that's where they keep the petrol. Hmm. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Alright. Uh, got petrol. Didn't know there was a mass grave here. Didn't... Couldn't remember, really. Don't remember too much about this game. Which is nice that I'm playing it through again. Okay, stamina depleted. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, weirdly these things last forever. There's no like um use it for X amount of time and it runs out, none of that. They just go on forever. Um, which is why there's no option to like put one on the side of your bike, which you think there would be. Like a little holder or something, a little placeholder for uh, a petrol can. Uh, yeah, it's because they've gone forever.
Oh, hello. We're on target. B. I can get headshots, who don't know. Alright, never mind. That didn't last long. Hey. Got it. Obstructed by bike. Nope, not back. I don't want to go back. Forward. Uh, take a look in here. See if there's anything interesting. Scrap or something. Anything really. Uh, it is, but I'm at max capacity for scrap. Can I cr craft something with scrap? Uh, don't think I can yet. I don't know. What is scrap for? I, again, I've completely forgotten. Like, I know what bandages and alcohol create. They create, like, the first aid stuff, but... Uh, not sure about scrap. Probably building bolts and whatnot. Shit. So I'll check. Get rid of those speakers first. speakers anywhere else, so that's good. Because I know with a few of them they're on like stands, well like different stands sure. yes. around the camp. Um Done. might upgrade health this time around. Might do. Or stamina. Green lights, green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Power's off. Figures. Wait. How was the power off? I'm confused. Oh, I have to yeah. do some jiggery pokery. Oh, that's right. Jewelry pokery. Fuse blown. Um. Right. Fine. I'll do that as well. Shall I? Shit. No way. Oh. Fuse. Yeah. <laughs> Fuse. Yes. Um. Bum bum bum. Okay, that was a fairly easy Nero. Alright, let's All make right. this quick. Here we go. Uh, micro recorder. What? Go, man! You in a sit look, go, ma'am! You must return to your vehicle. We will get to you. And here, for 12 hours, I've got two sick children in the back, which we need. We don't have. No, no, no! Ah! <laughs> yeah, Nero, 
injector. Let's see if it still works. Uh, she didn't lie. She had a plan. Uh, do -do 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 -do. stamina. Mm. Again, you know, why is he injecting himself with something he just randomly found in a container? I mean, just because the last one didn't kill him doesn't mean it did anything for him either. Game logic. World's end. Ow. Feeling stronger already. Alright, let's do this. Get going. Oh god. Bye! It should be fairly simple sailing. Nesting, so Easy sailing. Oh, I gotta clear it out. I gotta cut down on the swarmers out here. All the way to Copeland's camp. Okay, can't make that jump. Come on. Um, fellas, I'll be my, back my, later. My, okay. Finish burning you out. Albeit a longer way, but I'm going the right way. And the dog that crossed the road has started barking again. If anything, this will be a good, uh, a good sort of example of a test run then, of how strong my mic is. If uh, it picks up the dog barking across the road, probably should put the mic volume down, like the mic sensitivity. Yeah, I went a longer way. I went like this sort of scenic route or, or route. Uh, and I should have just ramped over that bridge. That was probably more of a direct way. That's fine. I think I still got enough petrol. I'm just going off road now. How oh, deep is that? That's too deep for a bike. other camp. I can't remember the name of it. This is the other camp. This is why I had to travel so far and run out of petrol. Because I was going across the map. Somebody's at the gate. The drifter. Drifter. High Plains Drifter. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. 
anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. Fine, Tucker and Alkai. Alkai. What a name. Uh, so if I remember right, this is the f more or less like the forced labor camp. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. Did no one stop them? How the f Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. What the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you, we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes I can't where he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you going to put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. 
and screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Wait, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Uh, uh, hey! <laughs> Oof. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. All right. All right, I see how it is.